This video will demonstrate safe and successful methods of performing lumbar punctures in a research context using a 24G spraddle needle and polypropylene syringes for collection of cerebral spinal fluid CSF, in healthy volunteers. These methods are used in the PREVENT 80 program at the STOP 80 Center, Douglas Mental Health University Institute, affiliated with McGill University in Montreal. Certain conditions can dramatically raise the risk of lumbar puncture-related complications. Research lumbar punctures are avoided in participants presenting focal neurological deficit, evidence of increased intracranial pressure, signs of brain herniation, spinal malformation, and skin infection in the lumbar area, revealed by a complete physical and neurological examination. A magnetic resonance imaging scan, or MRI, is conducted before the first lumbar puncture to rule out these conditions. Posterior fossa mass lesion, evidence of intracranial lesion with mass effect, evidence of midline shift, poor visualization of the fourth ventricle and or quadrigeminal cistern. Furthermore, research lumbar punctures are not performed in participants that have experienced a recent lumbar surgery, recent seizures, have altered levels of consciousness, or present an abnormal blood coagulation profile. The team must be made aware of any previous allergic reaction to anesthesia. All information about the procedure, including potential risks, is given to the eligible participant in detail before the procedure. All questions are answered, and enough time to reflect is given in order to allow a fully free and informed consent. A commercially available lumbar puncture tray, containing the necessary supplies, is needed with the addition of sterile gloves, compresses, spinal needle, 5 cc polypropylene syringes for CSF collection, and numbered polypropylene tubes for CSF handling. Typically, 20 or 22 gauge needles are used in clinical settings, but in this research context, the atraumatic 24 gauge needle is recommended to lower the risk of CSF leakage and associated adverse events. It is available in two lengths, 90 mm and 120 mm. Material for skin preparation includes MLOC cream, preheated chlorhexidine solution, and injectable xylocaine containing 2% of lidocaine HCL. In addition to the assistance of the physician during the procedure, the role of the research nurse is essential to prepare the participant for the intervention, to guide and reassure the participant during the intervention, and to monitor and follow participant's condition after the intervention. Participants lie in the lateral decubitus position at the edge of the bed, back and neck flexed, with the back horizontal and parallel to the bed throughout the entire duration of the procedure. The person is as flexed as possible to open the intervertebral space. Shoulders are perpendicular to the bed, knees and ankles are symmetrically placed. The position is comfortably held with the help of the side rails to support the feet and a pillow inserted between the knees. The procedure can also be done in a sitting position using a table and a pillow for individuals who present difficulties lying down or are overweight. The needle should be inserted in the inner space between vertebrae L3 and L4 or between L4 and L5. The position of the lumbar puncture site is localized using anatomical landmarks of the posterior superior part of the iliac crest and an imaginary line crossing the spine. The site of the needle insertion is identified as needed before the skin preparation. Warm chlorhexidine solution, to avoid muscle contraction in reaction to a cold solution, is applied in concentric motion towards the iliac crest and repeated three times. Xylocaine is infiltrated in the skin and immediate tissues using a 25G needle. After verification of the integrity of the introducer, the stylet, and the needle, the introducer is inserted with a 15 degree angle. The spinal needle is then inserted through the introducer. The needle should pass through the skin, the supraspinous ligament, the interspinous ligament, 
the ligamentum flavum, the posterior epidural space, the dura, the subarachnoid space, and between the nerve roots of the cauda echina. A firmer resistance may be encountered as the needle reaches the ligamentum flavum. Beyond, there is a slight give as the needle punctures the dura. From this point, the needle should be advanced 2 mm at the time and the stylet withdrawn at each increment to seek for CSF flow. Each time the needle is moved, the stylet must be reinserted. If no fluid is detected, the stylet should be reinserted, the needle partially withdrawn and then advanced with a slightly different angle. When the needle is correctly positioned, CSF will drop out of the needle when the stylet is removed. CSF is collected using 5cc syringes at a slow but constant rate of about 10 seconds per millimeter. The first millimeters of the first syringe are placed into the collection tubes provided in the lumbar puncture tray for routine analysis. Other syringes are given to the research assistant who transfers the CSF into numbered tubes, respecting the order of collection, for further research analysis. After the required amount of fluid is achieved, the stylet is replaced and the spinal needle is removed, followed by the introducer. Pressure and massage with sterile gauze is applied at the lumbar puncture site to help preventing CSF leakage. The procedure ends with the application of a band-aid on the site of the puncture. Individuals rest in horizontal position for one hour. Fluids are administered after 30 minutes and vital signs are recorded as needed. In the 24 hours following the procedure, participants are asked to avoid strenuous physical activity, including sex, lifting, bending, housework, gardening, jogging, and bike riding. A brief neurological examination is completed by a physician before the participant can leave. A phone call is placed the day after the procedure to follow adverse events, if any, until the resolution. Utilization of an atraumatic 24G spinal needle and syringes for CSF collection with special nursing attention to participant comfort make this lumbar puncture technique unique and well adapted for research protocols. <laughs>